Sofia Boaz, no, ah, no chat, ela diz, tem uma pergunta sobre esse ponto também, como ser alegre e espontânea em algumas bolhas ou alguns círculos, assim, onde a alegria é vista como burrice. Tipo aquela coisa, se você não está com raiva, é porque você não está, porque você está desinformada, né? Igual no Brasil de hoje em dia, né? You know, I think we can be an example, and I think we need to be a revolutionary example of joy and to show that being politically and socially engaged doesn't mean being upset all the time. And so I think we can show that we know what's going on, that we care about what's going on, and we bring that balance in. It doesn't mean the joyfulness that we're not in denial of the suffering, but it's also the empathetic joy piece of seeing the positive. So I think if we, in our own kind of words and in our own discussion, we show that we're very aware, but we can also be joyful. And then I think our social and political justice movements, one of the biggest problems is people burn out because they go into that despair that I was talking about before. I mean, it, the number of people involved in social and political justice activism, who after a couple of years, because it's too hard. If you're just feeling discouraged and despairing all the time, of course you give up. So I think we can provide this counter narrative informed by Master Shantideva of bringing empathetic joy to balance our compassion so we don't fall into despair. So we might have to be a little brave, but then I think we can be a good example of that. It's really the only way the world is gonna change. If we keep burning out, nothing's gonna change. <laughs> There's a quote, I think it's sometimes attributed to Albert Einstein, I'm not sure. And he says, things are important, but they don't have to be serious. 